Hey, it's Kasim with Solutions 8, and in this video, I want to show you what I think is a wicked ninja trick for targeting your competitors, prospects, and customers. Um, so, we're taking the gloves off in this video. I also want to make the disclaimer that this is very conceptual. I have no way of proving that it works um, outside of the fact that we've seen it perform, but the, the, the fact that it's performing doesn't necessarily mean that it's working the way that I think it's working. And all of that sounded really cryptic, and I'll show you what it is that I mean here in just a moment. So um, what we're going to do is inside of uh, uh, Lord Google, you're going to create a new campaign and um, we're going to go no goal guidance just at the moment. And this will change, to be honest with you, depending on how it is you end up using this strategy. But for now, let's create a display campaign. We're going to make this a Gmail campaign. This is what's cool about it is you're going to show up in people's um, uh, inboxes effectively. And hopefully you're going to show up in people's inboxes based off of the way that the information that's being gathered inside of their inbox. So uh, scrolling down, I'm going to skip a lot of these settings because, to be honest with you, that they're they're secondary to um, the the strategy that I'm I'm discussing here. What I want to show you is the targeting. So if you run a Gmail campaign and then you target based off of really specific keywords. Um, What's interesting about it is these are keywords that Google has been able to match back to this person. And this is where it gets conceptual. So I have no way of proving this, which is why maybe you shouldn't listen to this particular video. I was even hesitant to shoot it, but I just thought it was such a good idea. Um, and you know, some of the, the results we've been seeing it have, have been pretty positive, so I thought I'd share. And then you all can take with it you know, and, and do with it what you will. But um, my assumption is that if I'm running a Gmail campaign, Google is going to default to the, the demographic and psychographic profiling factors that it's been able to gather from Gmail. Not exclusively, obviously, but I just have to imagine from an algorithmic perspective those things are prioritized. So let's say that I'm a project management solution. Uh, what I might do is I might come in here and uh, the, the keyword that I'm going to target is Asana. And what I would do is I'd build um, one ad group per uh, audience and I'd make those audiences ultra specific. So, you know, and, and I might do Asana, Asana.com, which by the way, Google says we don't recommend using URLs right in their description. Uh, we don't recommend using website URLs. I think they're wrong, um, especially if you're doubling up. But um, the, the point here being, uh, if I add Asana and nothing but Asana and I have a competing project management tool and I build a Gmail campaign, um, my very strong assumption is I'm going to get a bunch of people that are either receiving Asana's uh, you know, drip email nurture, whatever, because they're interested in Asana, or they're Asana customers. But now I'm, I'm hyper-focused, hyper-targeting um, those Asana prospects. And then what's really cool about that is inside of my ad copy, I can start to speak directly to the features and benefits that I have that Asana might not have. So I don't really believe in like just straight up bashing your customers and or excuse me, your competitors. And you're gonna have a hard time doing that inside of Google Ads anyway. But I have seen some, you know, people running creatively alternative like Monday.com. If you search for Asana right now, Monday.com has an ad that comes up that says, Did you mean Monday.com? Which it's cute, but it's a little it may be a little too cheeky. Um, and it also lets people know how it is that, you, that the targeting is set up. What I'd rather do is is just identify the pain points with Asana. Um, so, you know, if you know that Asana's Gantt charts are limited, let's say, then you can just come in and say, like, you know, uh, 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 enterprise level Gantt features. And now all of a sudden you're right in front of somebody who's using Asana who may actually have, you know, experienced that pain point. And they're like, oh, wow, that's really interesting. I'm interested. So, um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, super large scale businesses. You, you can have um, targeting on a smaller scale. Just make sure that the brand name, that's the really specific key, make sure that the brand name is um, unique enough. You know, like if you have a competitor named, you know, industry tax providers, and I just come in here and say industry tax providers, that's going to give me like all the things which we don't necessarily even want. This is interesting because it's telling me it's going to give me nothing. Um, but you, you know what I'm saying? If there's a, a generic company out there that just for whatever reason doesn't make any sense um, or, or would be hard to identify based off of their brand, then, you know. I, I don't know that this is necessarily going to work for you. But I think um, splitting it up by audience, too, the other thing that's cool about that is it allows you to see which of your competitors is producing the highest performing you know, potential prospects for you. I think this is a hyper top of the funnel uh, play in a lot of ways because I think you have to I think you have to position value propositions, content. Um, there's a nurture to be done here. These aren't uh, commercial intent prospects necessarily. Um, at least that's not the way that we're targeting them. Uh, but I really like the idea of being in the inbox. And my dream, and there's obviously no way of doing this, my dream would be that we actually show up alongside that email. And again, I don't know how aggressive Google gets with those that, that keyword tool. Um, and I won't speculate. I think that'll maybe be a dangerous thing to do in this video. I remember I, I was I'm uh, in a mastermind with Ryan Dice, and Ryan mentioned um, that they used to target um, unsubscribe emails. You could go in and find your competitors' 
uh, unsubscribe email, and then Google let you target uh, by that for a short period of time, which is wicked, wicked ninja. Um, you know, I would have liked to have been around in those days because I just feel like there's so much you could do with that. But it, while not quite the exact same, maybe not, you know, it's, it's not the same uh, level of granularity, I think this is as close as, uh, as we can get presently. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Thumbs up if you liked the video, comments if you have questions. Thank you for subscribing, and I'm going to see you tomorrow.